so you landed the biggest link on of this trip here at Cayuga Town. So ready to show off your fish? Yeah, gonna hold them up now. Okay. okay. Is the camera on? Don't yeah. Yeah, we're good. Three, two, one. Oh. Why is that going? Oh. oh. I can't. Why is it clicking? It, it, clicking it, it, really it, it, quickly. No, because it's flash can only do oh. one at a time. Yeah. yeah. You want to do that one? Yeah. Last one? Yeah. <laughs> Last one? Hi, up to your face. Alright, we'll try. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's we won't make him struggle. <laughs> Welcome back to Kaika Sound and uh, we had a pretty good morning start. Um, we held the fishing. We started around 6.30 this morning and uh, got our limit pretty much right away and now we're going to do some link off fishing. Today we're going to be using the new Delta Pearl Paddles uh, which have large swing bait. So the link are really aggressive predators. Um, they'll hang out around kelp bears, they'll eat rockfish. So they usually eat pretty big items and you got to use pretty big bait. So this is what we're using today. This is the new swing bait. This is a 16 ounce swing bait. And I'll get down to the to the water where the linkos are hanging out. Okay, Sean behind me. So it's just um, tying everything up. And Kitty's gonna start out and see if we can get into some fish. Right now, I just have the power paddle, Gibbs Delta power paddle on, orange. And we've dropped it to the bottom. And then we're just going to do quick jigs, maybe a couple reels, get it moving, the tail moving. And hopefully one of the aggressive link pod that are down there will bite it. I'm going to be picky with these today, Sean. Fifteens only. So some of the link pod that you can catch here are really big, but you don't want one that's too big. Usually those are the, well, they're the breeder fish. And when they get bigger, they're older, meat's not as nice, you can have a lot of worms and other scary things inside of their meat. So one that is, is 15, 10 to 15 is, is just right. And the flays are a nice size too. We want to keep these uh, swim tails moving. That's the biggest thing is that tail's got to swim around. We're trying two different ways, one with a loop knot, one direct. To see if it makes that much of a difference, I don't think it does. But we're playing around. We got lots of time today. Hopefully don't catch a sea lion. So we're slowly moving the rod tip because we want that swim bait to come up and swim down. And come up and swim down like it's wounded. They don't really bite them if they're, if they're sitting still. You want them to move around just a little bit, but not too fast. It doesn't look natural. bit about three times but lots of times because it's moving they just bite the tail if you don't pull too hard and give him a bit of slack he'll turn around and grab it again that's a nice steady even pressure all the way to the surface you do don't you, want to pull their heads out of the water do you usually have uh, your rod to the side when you're reeling up on them? yeah nice and easy because because we're still moving Okay, you get link card. Nice one. Beautiful. Perfect eating size. Nice aggressive male. Be really careful putting your fingers in there. Get him, kitty. You should have bite. That's why we use the long pliers, just because you don't want to stick your hand anywhere near that. Beautiful. Yeah. That was that bite felt so weird. It, it got it when it was fluttering down. You can actually do them in the rod. How does that feel? Um, like 
Indian Every pond. fish in Cayuga get heavy. But I'm so sore from this. They can't even tell anymore. <laughs> can't gauge how heavy they are. And I don't want to because some of them no, are the do, teeniest they and they fight so hard. Generally, I find on the swim baits, you don't get some legal fish. There you go, Sean. Let's see if Rod wants to get a quick picture. That's beautiful. You keep that one. Yeah? Yeah, he's See how far down he's hooked? That thing just nailed Ooh, it. Beautiful. Another one of the blue ones, hey? Yeah, so was the other one there. And then what you want to do is you got to check your leader every now and then, right? Because they're teeth. They're so teethy. Yeah, they're so teethy. And we're, we're dragging rocks and stuff like that. But yeah, beautiful. Gill hook, so he had to die regardless. So first fish? First link cod for myself, for today. So the bait didn't even have a chance to fall to the bottom. The fish picked it up before it. Uh, I even started jigging. Couldn't even tell I had a fish. The hit was so so weird. It just suddenly was really heavy, and I could feel my rod kind of pulsing by my hand. Would you try for a bigger yeah. one? So you, so your daily call is two. You, you've already caught one. Yeah. So now you can keep another one. You can just try for something a little bigger, I guess, and play around. Sean's got Sean? another one. Oh, you better be keeping them. Oh, I'll keep a couple then. Ah. That happens pretty often, doesn't it? Like, Very like often go. with these, yeah. Lots of times I'll run a stinger hook just because of that. Say so yeah, they're bite. Bite lots, but they don't always stick on these things. Well, they. They sure inhaled them. Look at the sound of Cloud of freaking lingcod. Get the hook. Double header. Double header. Rod's like, I'm gonna finish. Whoa! I want it. I want a big one. Oh, it popped off. Yeah, redrop it nice and slow, and I bet you'll pick it up again right away. Oh, jeez! Yeah. To me, this is a perfect size. This is what I'm looking for myself. Is it? Yeah. No big belly, nice straight, firm meat all the way through. How big is that one, would you say, Sean? Yeah, he's only 10 pounds. No, I'm just weak. Oh. What do you think? Keep it? Sure. Yeah. Let's see where he's hooked first. What would you do? That's perfect, in my opinion. I think, I don't know. Hey. Apparently, apparently you like these gifts hooks pretty good, eh? Yeah. You know what? It swallowed it, so we're gonna keep it because yeah. I don't want to yeah. damage. I don't want to yeah, kill anything. Yeah, he's too too far down. If he's on the skin of the lip over here, yeah. not so bad. No, but when there, when it, the hook is that low, you know, that's the last thing you want to do is yeah. be greedy and keep a fish that might die. Nice, beautiful link cut. Well, that took five minutes. What are we doing now? We're gonna let Rod catch a couple. Can I catch yours? <laughs> well, that was pretty fast. We only fished for maybe. <laughs> Five minutes. Five, minutes. Five, ten minutes, and uh, both Sean and Kitty got the limit. But uh, daily quarter is two, so now I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna try to get two fish as well. So, what we're doing now, we're actually fishing right at the edge of the kelp bed. And um, before, we found a big school of rockfish on the sounder. And uh, sure enough, both Kitty and Sean got into the, the fish right away. Um, because these fish are feeding around rockfish, so we're just going through that area again. See if we can get some. We rely on electronic a lot. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you can yeah. see them on the sounder. Yeah, it's definitely very efficient. Oh, there's one where he is. That's fast. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't take very long. The drop was only a minute long. Oh. 
I was doing. Right? Look where that. Whoa! That's so, what jig is. <laughs> one fish, one big fish. Yeah, that didn't take very long. There's a good 20 And the whole. 25. And these power paddles work really well. You can see this whole bait. 16 ounce is in the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. So look at the size of the mouth. And that's why these fish eat really big items. And you gotta use big bait. There you go. So this one's roughly around what you say 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, sure. 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah, probably just over 20, 23. Yeah, it's a beauty fish. And it, it, they actually fight pretty well. And look at the size of the um, pectoral things. That's yeah. why they can they can really push it when you when you're fighting. The, the, yeah. So yeah, it's heavy. We'll put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Land of plenty. Yeah, it's uh, definitely lots of fish down there. That didn't take very long again. It was another five minutes. Second pass, and we got another one. This one feels a little smaller, but again, you never know until they come up. Uh, not a very big one. Thank you. It's gonna clean that fence for It's rock. That's rock. <laughs> oh, look at that hook set. Rod, I got it all on camera. Yeah. Hook the planet. <laughs> There's a lake pod right there, but look at how you're thinking. Where? Same on the sound. Uh, <laughs> One trouble with these, this, this happens a Yeah. Do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, I can explain what happened. Yeah. I'm using that annoying line that you always use on yeah. me. Right. So I had a few bites, and then finally had a really big bite, but it was the wrong fish. I hooked the rock on the bottom. Just trying to get it out. And that's one. one um, challenge when you're fishing in places like this. There's lots of structures. You gotta fish now. And, uh, oh, it's the bottom. It's the bottom. I don't know. Yeah. Off, it's off, yep. Yeah. We we'll just use the boat to maneuver around the snack to get it out. Usually you can get it out. Yeah, so the best part with these is the hook's, kidding? Yeah. The hook's facing up. So when we're fishing and it hits the bottom, usually it's the, the jig head that's at the bottom, not the hook. So you can totally go backwards and pop that hook back off, and that jig's usually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh, fish. There's one. Look at him shake. Oh, is that a lingcot, you think? Maybe, maybe. maybe no, just, it feels like a lingcot now. He's just yeah. shaking his head. Yeah, just shaking his head, trying to get the bait off. But yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing, good thing about using this big swing bait. Um, you avoid all the smaller rockfish. It's very yeah. selective, right? You're only targeting lingcod, and that's the only thing. Pretty much the only thing will bite 99% of the time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. This one's got some weight to it. Um, okay, slowly coming up. Yeah, it's gotta be a good one. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Green back. We'll not screw this one up. Oh. Another nice fish. Second fish for me. Again, this one's around 20 pounds. 25. Just again. as big as the first one. Maybe bigger. Huge <laughs> fish. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the old glow one. This one we actually took it on the. Um, I guess it's like a white glow. Yeah, I guess yeah. I think it's classified as a glow. Shimpe, yeah. yeah. So, beauty. Awesome.